Hello, welcome to another edition of Crap and the Cryptic. I'm going to take a look at the super fiendish Sudoku from today's times um, now. Um, and again, if you're only watching the Sudoku videos, you may not know that uh, Mark and I have been uh, otherwise engaged the last few days on uh, something called the Galactic Puzzle Hunt, um, which I would very much recommend if you have a uh, a liking for puzzle hunt type puzzles, absolutely amazing uh, competition, still ongoing, so I can't say too much about it, but um, uh, that's why there has been a dearth of videos. So let's go through this. So simple Sudoku rules, we can write an 8 in here, and looking at, we can make a pencil mark, 9 in these two cells, Mark ones in these two cells, and we can write a big six in this cell. And some mark sevens down here. Eight. Oh, and there's the first nice uh, spot. So, got two fours here. So we've now fours and sevens, and you can see that's just. Let's just look at these cells and see what the logic is here. So we've, we've got a 4 in one of these two cells. We've got a 7 in one of these two cells. And we've got a 9 in one of these two cells. Now it should be clear, I think, that because the 7 and the 4 can go in exactly these two cells in some order, there is no way that this can take a 9. If this took a 9, both uh, the 4 and the 7 would need to appear in this cell. So that's impossible. Um, so we, we now know that this is the 9 here, um, which allows us to make a couple more pencil marks down here. And we shouldn't neglect this cell, uh, this 3x3 three three box now, because you know these three cells are in effect taken. So we now know we've only got to place, uh, what's it going to be? It's going to be a 3 and an 8 into these two cells, uh, which, oh, not down there, no. Three and eight into these two cells, and I'd always be scanning here just to see if that allowed me to do anything else. You know, I'm mentally I'm drawing a three down here, and you can see that does actually it allows me to place pencil mark threes in this bottom three by three box, and by the same token, uh, what can we do eight eight? Yeah, we can put a couple of eights in up here. So it didn't give us another number, but pencil marks, they're not quite as good as numbers, but um, they're certainly very, very important if you want to solve these uh, slightly more difficult puzzles efficiently. Uh, okay, so let's just carry on, putting in our, we can put a big three in up here. Ah, and there we go. So actually that work we did with the eight here was important because now we've managed to isolate the fact that this has to be a three, therefore this has to be an eight and that's going to be helpful as well. This three here and this three in one of these two cells means we can place our three in this bottom box on this side and that gives us a nine as well. So it's all looking relatively useful. Um, this is one of those irritating things where you scan across you can see the nines can't go here or here so we now know mentally we can earmark the 9 for one of these three cells and you immediately think well that's going to give me a pencil mark in one of these three cells but no there's a dearth of 9's in uh, uh, this whole uh, sort of center right side of the grid so we can't quite um, make any more deductions there. What we can do is see that these two cells have to be 5 and 7 in some order because of what's going on in column 1 and again doesn't give us anything immediately, but it does allow us to say something about these two cells. So these two cells have to be 2 and 6 in some order, and look, we have a 6 here. Let's write that in. That's got to be a 6. That's going to have to be a 2. It gives us a couple more pencil marks over on this side of the grid. The 2s and the 6s we've just found. Uh, now you can see here as well, using this 2, we're going to get lots of information. So this 2 here is going to lock a 2 into one of these two squares, but we have a 2 in, in column 4 already. So in fact, that's going to give us a 2 here, 
and now place the one immediately. We can pencil mark the ones in the central 3x3 box and we can continue to use the two. This has to be a two. Um, means these two have to be four and five which means this is a four and this is a five and when you get a flurry of numbers like this the thing that you really have to watch is that you don't um, you don't go too fast I'd actually recommend a little bit of a pause at moments like this just to make sure that you're recording all of the logical all of the easy logical deductions that you can make um, from the flurry of numbers that you're putting in um, so I'm just trying to take that time myself now to make sure that I'm not missing anything. So I can see we've got to place four, five, nine across here. So we can place fours. Can't do anything with the five and nine. This is, but we can say something about these two cells now. Um, so this has to be six and seven in some order. We have a six here, so let's fill in. That was a six, this is a seven, this is a seven, this is a four. That fixes the four in the bottom three by three box here and fixes the five. Um, that's as far as we can go there. We know we have to place six, seven, nine into these cells and we can make a couple of pencil marks. So, so now, one of the things I'm looking at now is column four. So I can see four, five, nine need to be placed. Um, this cell here can take a four, five, or a nine. This can only take a five or a nine, and this can only take a four or a five. So a little bit irritating. Often when you have six numbers in a row or a column, you can, you can make a further deduction. But I'm not sure that we can make a simple one. Um, there. Okay. We can, we can make another pencil mark fours in those two cells there. We can do something similar with the ones here, I think. Yeah. Also in this in this box, ah, but we can now use the ones. I think as we've got a one. If you look at this one here, it's checking these two positions, and this one here is checking this position. So we can pencil mark some ones up here. And it allows us to place the one in the right hand three by three box there. Oh look, and that's going to probably crack the puzzle open. So we've now placed this one and this one and a one up here which will force the four. Let's remove this one just to uh, keep everything in good order. Um, now the forcing of the four here means we can actually you can see everything is starting to chain now. So now we've got five and nine to these two positions. So this can't be a four, this has to be a four up here which allows us to place the two. That means this has to be a two. There's a naked single here in the sense if we look at uh, the first row we've got a place of five, a seven and a nine. But you can see we already have a five and a seven uh, in column seven. So this can only be a nine. Let's write that in. Um, that allows us to make pencil marks to nines into oops, um, that position which forces this to be a six. That. And that means we can place this six up here. The only thing that's left that can be placed into this cell now is an eight, so we should write that in. 
Um, that means this has to be an 8, this has to be an 8, this has to be a 3, this has to be a 3, um, 5 and 9 into these two cells, so this is going to be a 9 and this is going to be a 5 by simple Sudoku logic, and you can see now we're at the stage where it's just um, finishing off the puzzle um, to tidy up these numbers so that they don't clutter things up, so we've got 5 and 7 into those positions this has to be a 9, oops, that, uh, 5 and 8 into these positions, you can see this therefore has to be a 5, this has to be an 8, that tidies up the bottom three uh, rows there, that has to be a 5 I think, which settles all of these numbers, and there we go, so relatively efficient solve today. Um, just my tip, don't go too fast. Make sure you make your pencil marks properly. Take your time to consider the implications of the, um, you know, especially if you manage to lock two pencil marks into two cells for two numbers, as, as we did, I think it was over here with this 479 combination. We were able to fix the 9 and everything flowed fairly smoothly after that. So thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time on Cracking Cryptic.